So, Ananya, please start the live streaming. Yes, ma'am, it's going live. Yeah, very, very, very good afternoon. Uh, speaker of the session, Dr. Amit Chandra Karkwal, Deputy Director and Associate Professor, Amity Institute of Microbial Technology, Dr. Rajendra Thaka, Chair in Yas, Dr. Arti Kumari, Assistant Professor, University so, of Delhi. And I'm going to start the live stream. Yes, ma'am, it's going live. Yeah, very, very, very good afternoon. Uh, speaker of the session, Dr. Amit Chandra Karkwal, Deputy Director and Associate Professor, Amity Institute of Microbial Technology, Dr. Rajendra Thaka, Chair in Yas. Dr. Arti Kumari, Assistant Professor, University of... Anani, is there an issue? I can hear my voice back. You have audible perfectly, Veda. You can continue, please. Okay. Yeah, so very good afternoon. Once again, I think there was some technical delay at my end. Sorry for that. So once again, I welcome you all to the sustainability lecture series, which is jointly organized by NCR INIAS chapter and Institute of Home Economics, Department of Microbiology, Delhi University and Microbiology Society India. So we all know that uh, with a vision to make the planet sustainable, UN has put forward the 17 sustainable development goals and India is playing a major role in this global agenda. So as per our honorable prime minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, Achieving sustainability will open to a world of few challenges and greater hope. So hence science, technology and innovation have a great role to play. India's in this direction in collaboration with University of Delhi and Microbial Society India is organizing this lecture series as a platform to have dialogue on different facets of sustainability with the theme role of science in sustainable development and Indian perspective. So may I now request uh, Dr. Dhaka Chair Inyas, to brief us about Inyas activities and in the role in Indian science. Thank you, Veda. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me, Veda? Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. So on behalf of Inyas, let me also welcome you all who have joined through Zoom, as well as uh, some are uh, joined at uh, YouTube channel. So let me welcome all of you to this series and the first talk of this series. And as you, some of you already know that INIAS stands for Indian National Young Academy of Sciences. And this academy was founded uh, in 2014 by INSA, our parent academy, Indian National Science Academy, which is in New Delhi. Our uh, mission and our uh, aim is to promote science. So we do a lot of outreach activities and we try to motivate students from rural area schools and also we try to contribute and help students, young students, PhD students, as well as young independent researchers in various issues they are facing at different levels. Also, we conduct various uh, conferences, workshops for young independent researchers to connect them for interdisciplinary scientific research collaboration. We also uh, started recently three flagship events. One of them is uh, related to teachers training program where we focus mostly on rural area school teachers. We bring them to different institutes like IIT, CSIR labs, uh, ICAR labs and so on. And we try to give uh, the training how to make the teaching more effective, more interesting to the students at school. The another program is related to help and aware the post PhD and senior PhD students, what are the opportunities for them in different sectors like academia, industry, and in science communication and so on. Our third flagship event is related to women in science called wisdom. There also we are conducting various events where we are focusing more on girls students to motivate them for higher education in science. And I'm really happy and I congratulate all my Vinyas colleagues and all women and girls in science on the day, International Day of Women and Girls in Science, which is today. 
and we are very happy. I am also uh, very happy to share that we are conducting various events on these days, uh, on, the, on the celebration of this day in offline mode at various places. Uh, so our INEAS members are involved in many of these activities. And uh, in particular about the INEAS uh, NCR chapter, we have taken many initiatives and we have conducted various events in these lines. And as Veda said, this is today's series is also one of them where, you know, the sustainable word is itself is very important. We talk about so many things, but we normally forget about sustainability, which is, you know, the most important thing to survive for long. And in this, in this direction, this series, I think, is going to be very, very beneficial where we are trying to address various aspects, various areas, various fields in the direction of sustainable development. And as Veda rightly said uh, already about uh, these directions, so I will not take much time. And uh, as uh, you know that the topic of today's presentation is related to agriculture. And on behalf of INEAS, we really thank Dr. Amit for agreeing you know, uh, to, to give this lecture in this series. And on this very particular, uh, particularly this very important topic. So I'm looking forward to uh, your talk, Dr. Amit, and I'm sure that this is going to be very, very beneficial to all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dhaka. Now may I request uh, Dr. Arti, State Coordinator, Microbial Society India, to brief us about the thought behind the series and also this new collaboration. Dr. Arti, please. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Veda. Good evening, everyone. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome everyone gathered here this evening to be a part of very prestigious sustainability lecture series. Uh, as Dr. Veda introduced, that from today onwards, we are starting with a bi-monthly sustainability lecture series where we will be emphasizing the role of biology or the allied sciences subjects in the sustainable development. And this is one of the mandate of government of India in the current scenario. And understanding the world of microbe is absolutely imperative either to curb the dangerous effects or to harness their power for healthier life, for sustainable energy sources, for biodiversity, for tackling climate changes, for solving hunger problem, and many more. So keeping this in mind, we have come up with this webinar series of uh, 11 lectures. And this series is, as uh, she mentioned earlier that this series is jointly organized by Department of Microbiology, Indian National Young Academy of Sciences and Microbiology Society India. So here I just wanted to brief about the MBSI. This is Microbiology Society uh, India. And this society was established in March 1996 and registered in November 1996. Its major focus is to promote the microbiology and its application in daily life by organizing various courses in microbiology at all level of education. It also helped to cultivate uh, liaisons between government and non-governmental institute, academies, societies, and other organization, non-organization in the field of microbiology. So uh, thank you so much MBSI for all support you have provided. And I also thank our Director Ma'am, Professor Renu Arora for giving us permission to conduct this series. Now, I know everyone is eagerly waiting to listen to today's speaker. So uh, over to you, Dr. Veda, please introduce her. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so we have Dr. Subhash Yadav, India's NCR chapter member with us. Dr. Yadav, can you introduce our eminent speaker of the day? Yeah, thank you, Dr. Veda. It's a matter of great pleasure that today we have Dr. Amit Chandra Karwal. Actually, Dr. Karwal was born on 27th November 1974 and presently heading the Deputy Director and Associate Professor at Ameni, Ameti University of Microbiology and Technology at Ameti University, Uttar Pradesh. He has did a PhD from the University of Guru Nanak University, Punjab and Masters from the Ajamiya Hardad University in Environmental Botany. Basically, he has vast experience on the research and analysis in leading the research organization. I have researched on the various topics related to the agricultural microbiology, including the plant cells, tissue, and hairy root culture. 
and he did also that uh, csri iibt palampur pg 1997 to 2003 under the guidance of late professor p s ahuja and the phd research title of that conservation of the podophyllum hydroxum royale during his phd work he surveyed the five district of the population of indus plants of course it is very interesting topic and during the while phd he also worked after that uh, in the reliance industry uh, in 2002 as a research fellow so since 2005 he is working at mit university uttar pradesh under the various positions and currently his area that plant microbe interaction for the sustainable agriculture and improvement of the medical medicinal plant quality and he filed the published the 14 uh, patent including one us patent out of which he has granted the four patent i think so that three indian and one us so it's a matter of really it's a very uh, we can say the outstanding work he has in it on its credit and uh, after that he also published the 54 uh, articles out of the 23 such paper that in, in national and international journal of repute and he has handling the nine projects out of which eight is completed and one is ongoing and organized the nine workshops so overall i can say the most important work also he has the innovation entitled the method to establish the tripled interaction between the endophytes and that is telomycetes porphyrogenes hnb9 recognized by the jenmer center for the research and innovation it's a first of its kind from the microbiology in 2021 it's a really it's a very nice work and regarding the award and recognition he has very awards various awards on his credit especially on the UGC CSIR NET in 1998 and senior research fellowship from the CSIR during 2001 so this is about its brief uh, introduction i can say so sir it's very uh, matter of great pleasure to all of us you were waiting to listen you thank you thank you dr veda it's a brief introduction about the dr amit yeah thank you dr yadav dr amit now the floor is yours we are eagerly waiting thank to hear you, you. thank you Is it visible? Yeah, it's visible. It's visible, sir. Thank you can start, sir. So, before I start, I would like to thank. Professor Rini Arora, President IIT, Professor K M Vishnu, Professor D S I, and Mr. Professor Ayan Data, Professor Veda Krishnan, Professor Kalpana Nasta, Professor Arvind Nayar, and Professor Raj Nayar, who gave me the opportunity to speak at this event. And the topic of my talk is plant microbes and micro microbes interaction for sustainable agriculture. As all of us see around us, you know, see the surroundings. That before the pandemic and after the pandemic, COVID pandemic, I mean to say, and during this pandemic, the same Ukraine war, many things have changed. Very suddenly, a food shortage, the rise, the rise in the inflation, the food cost is increasing. As for the other, the food is not available. Energy supply is precarious, and fertilizer supply is precarious. The fertilizer cost is ever increasing. And a lot of companies in my contact, and also we see that they are shifting gears towards alternative sources for certain important sources of, you know, bio input. So this source is becoming even more important in that context. And we have to understand the plant microbe and micro micro interaction for achieving the goals of sustainable agriculture and to align ourselves with the sustainable development goal of the United Nations. So let me introduce to this interaction. We live as a holobiome, that is a multicellular host and its associated microbiota. We live with our microbes, so does the plant. And evolutionary selection likely occurs between the host and the microbes, but also among the microbes, the selection takes place, and some microbes like each other, some dislike each other. And as we know, the microbes were the first to originate because five billion years ago on our Earth, and long before the land plants started to colonize the land, some 450 million years ago, the micro microbe interaction 
have continuously evolved and diversified over time. And these interactions are both intra and inter kingdom, inter material interactions to represent strong drivers at the establishment of plant associated multiple centers here. The soil being in the first place and then you speak about. Now look at this picture. Where you see the green and the red, the positive, cooperative and competitive interaction. So you can see the evolution of this interaction. Bacteria, 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 microbiosis, microbiosis, and microbiosis, and microbes and plants. So these interactions are both positive and negative, and they have evolved over a period of time. And these interactions are the drivers of biogeochemical cycles and sustainers of our biological diversity. So these are very ancestral interactions around system microbial kingdom, as you can see, which can be quantitative and cooperative interactions, which again and between microbial kingdom. Now look here, the microbial networks in different plant habitats, how they work. They are microbes that they are in air, in the cellosphere and the endosphere. The cellosphere that is on the top of the plant, endosphere inside the plant, they are there in the soil, they are there in the rhinosphere, that is the zone that is surrounding the soil, which is the root, that is the soil zone that is surrounding the root, and endosphere that is inside the root zone, as you can see in this picture. What is most important that microbes are interacting positively, negatively, or they do not interact with other microbes. Some species clearly see. These are dark circle species. Here we see these dark circle species. These are called the keystone species, which are highly connected to other microbes within the network and likely exert a stronger influence in the structure of microbial cells. And these associated microbes, they mainly they are derived from the soil biome, that's not necessarily. So these associated microbes, they originate from various sources such as aerosols, insects, or dust. But there is a relocation between above ground and below ground microbiota members to form open surface. So the combination of microbe and host microbe interaction is critical for the establishment of plant microbes biota. So taking this forward, the bacterial fungal interactions are very important drivers of microbial community in the maintenance of biotic and prebiotic environment. They help in plant health and development, also in animal human health and development, biotechnology and food production, and important drivers of biogeotechnical cycle. The biotic and abiotic environment filter these microbial communities correctly for specific and personal. Uh, conversely, conversely, interactions between microorganisms also influence the biotic and abiotic environment, that is, the change takes place as a consequence of microbial interaction. Also, the bacterial fungal phenotypes they understand chemical and molecular interactions between the members of microbial community. And are highly dependent on time and scale, that means they take long time, time to evolve and perform their functions. So, any disturbance of earth biodiversity distorts this interaction and leads to a changes in the biogeochemical cycles, which we see there. So, a lot of these interactions, the changes in these interactions, the disturbance in these interactions, you know, changes the entire global biogeochemical cycles perspective and directly impacts plant health, animal and human health, and also affects the seed production. So these are very important interactions. How do how do these interactions are taking place? We are taking place by short and long distance signaling in bacterial fungal interaction. If you can see Long distance signaling and short distance signaling, which are driven by diverse small molecules, which can be either soluble or volatile. They are typically perceived as the cues of the presence of a bacterial or a fungal infection interaction during the bacterial fungal interaction. And these molecules affect positively or negatively the fungal or the bacterial partner, but also. Not only the partner, but also the host of the fungal interaction or other additional organisms. 
Again, these disturbances and these interactions can lead to other consequences. So these are very intricately balanced interactions, which have been disturbed because of the changes and disturbances that have taken place in biodiversity. So what logistics are involved in these? Now, please, please this picture. We are found as ice age, and what we know, ice age and highway. Highway, as our human nature says, are ways to prosperity. And so does the fungal hyper. These are the ways to prosperity. You know, bacterial fungal interaction. Because they are providing the threats on the multifold application function of bacteria. So these fungal hyper, they can efficiently colonize heterogeneous environmental habitat because of their plasticity. And they can create new natural habitats and weather, enable a variety of energy ecosystem processes and services that can be beneficial or detrimental to the bacteria. So this can work with good bacteria or bad bacteria. And this microscale function depends on the environment and the microorganisms involved and are highly susceptible to disturbance. So again, I'm emphasizing that disturbance leads to disruption of the functioning of this interaction. Let me give you one example. How this interaction work? So this is controlled. So some of growing alone. And it is a positive microorganism. Some of us know it's interactive. There is a positive interaction. And there is a negative interaction. Some of us do not like uh, other objects. So interaction can be neutral, positive or negative. This is from my own work. I'm showing you the example and this. And now we look for consortia meeting. Why we look for consortia meeting? This fungus, which is positive, is also cellularizing phosphate in the medium here. And this bacteria, which is basically a nitrogen feedback. So we have a consortia that is very as a nitrogen and phosphorus supplier. Now, how it will work? You have to see. Look at these stores that is converge. They are sprayed on the seedlings. The seedlings remain viral, so they are not agricultural in the case. And some can access the colonizer. That means the fungal hydrate single stores that colonize the weeds. So they will perform their multifunctional, you know, with their multifunctional effect. So to better understand. Not only the fungal, the field interactions per se, but the fungal, fungal interactions also per se. There are different types of these interactions. It can be mutual, that is compatible, partially mutual, that is partially compatible, invasion, replacement at early and final stage, and invasion at certain points, and invasion at red loss at a distance. So there can be various types of interactions. Now, to see here, this is the example of compatible mixed process and cytodynamicity and this is the material. And one, in cytodynamicity and cytodynamicity. So here you can see on top the compatible interaction. Here you can see partial compatible mixed process as associated with nigel and cytodynamicity, cytodynamicity and cytodynamicity. And so this is a compatible. Here you see incompatible, so there is no compatibility at all. Incompatible mix culture. And here you see again incompatible mix culture. So, some cultures can be compatible or incompatible in this. Now, keeping this in mind, I take a case study with a model organization, Suri Formula Square of India, that is also known as the Indicator Indicator, Champion of Spring Biosphere. And this is discovered by my mentor, the Victor Vikorma. And I just introduced this fungus to you. This fungus was discovered in the desert of Western Rajasthan. Here we see a lot of hot conditions, like the scarcity of vegetation. And these insights, after building the roots, the roots were brought to the biology, and this fungus was isolated. And this is the world. First, culture is a microizer, that is in the site, and it can be cultured, so it can be particularly in a medium, solid medium, and liquid medium, and it stores water fluid, and 
the typical CSS flow that is known as fully permissible by Indicon. And one of the properties of this fungus is that it is fungus because it is a multivisor, it colonizes the roots of the plant and also removes the weight of the plant. Still, we have tested over 100 positive plants in a class of plants with such a positive, and also positive, that means the fungus removes the growth of the plant. And also, we have already transferred this technology to four countries still in India, the University in Taiwan. So, this is how this colonization is described. The animal colonizes the particular region of the roots, spends the time also elsewhere, and back it is in the many four regions in the volume of the roots, so you can see in the picture. So, so we have made a consortia of this microbiome cluster. We have actually leads to better nutrient acquisition, national of root branching, and distribution of plants for the nutrient. So, how do we make this consortia? What we found that in the past, Interacting with various other bacteria, like the promotional effects to the other vector, only we see with the brain of the and any different of bacteria. So, here you can see in the case, right? So, how it works, we have interact positively with the other vector, the other one, and this consortia makes both the processes, but the hunger and the other vector. So these two processes are amalgamated into one consortia, and this interaction basically results in announcement of code wise and diameter and thickening of the walls of this source of screen data that results in their better application in the field of this. So, what are these properties? I will briefly explain to you. Other than that, Plant growth is also promotes early flowering, as you can see here, early flowering in the plant and better growth. There you see early flowering and you know, fruit setting has taken place in the process of the fixed plant. It also promotes the growth of medicinal plants. For example, the coca not only promotes the growth in direction on a minimal medium, but also increases the anti antioxidant production. Five fold announcement in antioxidant activity and three fold announcement in pesticide production. Another example, aloe vera, is very well again. And here you can see the difference between the treated and controlled, treated means the indica. And again, it leads to the value addition, announcement of gel content and following content. So we have published a book, Memoirs of Economics for Magic Kingdom. Which you can see downloads from the net and see it here in the product. So we have standardized the product requirements for every horticulture and we have made a formulation, type based formulation. We have standardized the application and major agricultural crops. So these application rates are available. This formulation can be applied to trees, seedlings, standing crops, sandy crops, or pipes. The way of soil application or this set, which irrigation, water irrigation, also this irrigation. So there are various modes of you know, application of this in the enterprise to the plant. So, one such study I will show you that this is a key plan of figure training in collaboration with CAE. So, now if you see in the reference plots, not only the similar number, same clump. Same number was increased per clump, but the significant thing that figure contains was also up close the picture of the same plot. Here you see that the fungus was the magic. Control plan completely yellow, people with the CCD. Why? Right? Because of the exhibition, higher exhibition of minerals like iron and copper, which makes the plant move. So, you see how it is the plant with activities. Not only the plant will promote a new problem, but the also helps in biological control of the So you see the two things, control and treatment. You can see the difference. The control is heavily infected by viruses and other pathogens, and treated is completely free of infection, and there is a 33 function pattern increase in the field, and you know, 50 percent reduction in pesticide use as a consequence of just one application of this single final chain of the field. Another application you can see are humans, but virus infected humans in the normal field. First, you see that there's a in the field, and the next slide you see this 
These were the virus infected trees. They were injected with this fungus and that helps in the recovery of the plant. So it can also help in the recovery of the disease. Up close this picture, we can see minus 10 and it helps in the substration of the disease. Very importantly, it was discovered from the hard area of the Western direction. And it was, you know, trying to give tolerance to cold cells. This is a picture of the DRD, you know, things experimented, things in Saudi and Greenhouse as a month of November. This work was done, the yeah, heat showing was done in a Saudi and Greenhouse at a temperature of minus 18, it's from 4 degrees centigrade. And you can see the early seed germination, early seedling establishment resulted in pronounced growth. What happens in this area where there is a window of cultivation that will grow for six to eight months? So instead of taking one crop, you can take two crops in this area for the benefit of the people there. Another case study now I bring to you the discovery which we have recently made. The Saleomyces algobiotic which is a formerly known as Saleomyces Pathogenes in the ninth chain. That is an asymmetrically cultivated novel root colonizing fungal chain activated by other groups. So, this is a root colonizing strain and it has exhibited various branch generating properties and the fungus also secretes the red selection point. And we have filed the total consortium of six certain fungal fungus. And we have transferred this technology to one country. So this is the best plan creation of this, you know, from the application to can treat it with the seed, seedling, common crop, or with the soil application or irrigation, water irrigation. So you can apply it in multiple ways in the plant. And this is how it is formulated. And this is how this kind of looks like a source in PBA medium. So these are the properties then for say silicon colonization, iron colonization, and indoor vertical surface corruption, and those managing properties. This fungus is non microtoxin resistant. So if you compare it to the central, the central mine, you know, grow on CAP, it works over it was other medium, but in the standard sense for microtoxin solution in there. And Integration was done in this way, failing toxicity was not observed in this way, again, for new cycle toxicity, pronounced great for the critic plant as compared to control as you can see in May and Petra. So you can see what changes in the root architecture. And you can see here the root colonization, the thing that colonizes the root, the plants and the plants that find air outside, you can control the main RCV and everything from the root. And Seed testing was done, you can see the plant of seed, the bigger plant, only flowering and only testing was detected. And what we have done is that we have made a dual control interaction as we can deny this capsule of it. Not only just one in a single, single, either single organism, but again, control the other. So this thing is the point of the interaction. You know, positively with particular subcellus, as you can see. And this interaction again resulted in pronounced mucocellularism at center of the membrane, as you can see here. And this was also filed in a second work file. And this interaction was pictured in green house and so shown significant increase in root length, flat weight, dry weight, and total chlorophyll content. And this is how you can see here. And this colonization was produced, and there was pronounced increase in colonization of the fungal source as a consequence of the consortia development. You can see how the fungal source are colonizing the root. And then we decided to make a consortia and bring the animal and bacteria together at the end of the and we have control base. And what we found that there was cycle swelling and Release of spores, increase of correlation in the consortia, and increased correlation was seen as a dust here. And the spore size and the number of spores of the six and twelve days were increased significantly as compared to the control. And what then we decided to make a field application of this consortia was to prepare the 10% type rate contact and consortia. And 
the number of schools we have mentioned that students depend on the seven in the first program, in the second nine, and in the first year, five in the second year, seven, and in the second year, seven, and 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 the second but for this, we need some seven members by 44 percent, and the consortia increased the feeding by 61 percent in conventional auditors. Now, once we know that I want to be very clear that this basically is producing a work to your compound, so we have this my problem the classification and making the value. Okay, so this is a control view, and then the control center views with the standard protocol for time that we find that if the color six to the other. So we are working on that also, different aspects, but that is also to your sustainability. We can provide a new dial that is not really correct. So not only this is a plant here for nothing similar, but it is also a biochemical region. Here you can see in the region of Figurium of this program. Figure A shows you the treatment with the culture filtrate and figure B with the culture filtrate. So it resulted in the separation of Figurium of this program. Then you can see the so A and B, so B, so it's controlled, the region will cause continuity to set up there, the renewable development. And what we found that inhibition of waste stores in the first week is a trend, and if you can see, this is very important organism waste store that is a major unit culture for loss and banana cultivation, and what we found that the inhibit for waste store and how you see in terms Origin to control, and you see the high are completely destroyed. Right? Another important thing, another example I want to give you is the interaction of this endless with antenna pathogen fungi, metarhizia, and mesothelia, and the area of So, so there is a compatible interaction between FMD9 and metarhizia and the area of as you can see in this. But what we found that the area by the metarhizia, they do not interact compatibly. There is lysis of the high of metarhizia as a integer. As you can see here, the high are getting broken down in state and in draw also. Now, what we did, we interacted such major tripartite interaction. Metarhizia and the area in the center of the area. So, here we can see there is no lysis. Any of the fungus and there are normal high or metarhizium or fungus. And we made this tripartite store application of these plants in greenhouse by taking the growth time. And what we got, what we see the observation that there was significant increase in food plants, per cake, dry weight, and total production content in bipartite production. And then we also decided to use the consortia of this for failure application. So, this means we need the culture filtrate of FMD9, and also we made a live live extract of FMD9. And what we found that culture filtrate of FMD9 also made a positive compatible interaction between metarhizium and the area. There was no life of metarhizium. Okay? And also, you can really see the culture extract. Cytosynthesis extract also related in the positive interaction between other elements in the area of the the body like the high field. So, in principle, these two fungi they can be mixed together to make a consortium which can help better to survive and develop insects. So, what we decided to decide is to make a tripartite gate. Um, we inoculated the four signs for a as you can see. We put three different fungi together and cultivated for five days at 150 RPM. And within five days, more than 10,000 four signs of how many three fungi we get in a single grade. And we also made a dual growth with the help of culture can be done spread for cycle traits. And again, we got the you know, number of stores which were inoculated, and we got a good number of stores in the stores after five days. 
and still we made a formulation of earlier application of both of tensor theory of the energy lines in meta rise and delivery ratio that are prepared for earlier application and both for mixed phase PVC and water and we also prepared the treatment for the sea treatment as you can see from the cell formulation was prepared and uh, the feet were treated and the feet were given and we also did the oil application of this sensor here and we have some still very results but there was reduction in percent least older incidents after the application of formulation at 15 days interval and there was increase in that with gain in the life and other than that I am working on a very important insect test Solidization, equal to the rate of the solidizer or 
nitrogen fixation, but what we can do that we must follow the protocol. Say, for example, fertilizer can be order of journey that we get. What are the requirements? Okay, how much should be the given of fertilization? How much should be the given of you know, the polygon phosphorus or polygon iron or nitrogen fixing ability? So, when we see that and follow that you know, control order, these other products should be performing more than that. Only then, you know, we can have chance expected in actual field conditions. So, this information was given to my students for uh, making this innovation. Uh, that is the top 15 innovations made by young scientists in India. And this was one of the same type of innovations from agriculture sector. So, this is my project team. I am the project leader of this work. And this is Dr. Ramit Dharma, the distinguished scientist and physical communist advisor. We are the students who are positively or still working in the system in the and as well, we are working and providing as well. So, I thank you for thank you very much for your questions. Please ask any questions. Please, please, please. Thank you. Thank you very Dr. Arti, are you there? Are you taking some questions from students? Oh, yes, yes. So students can raise your hand and ask the question questions directly to sir. So actually, I have one question. <laughs> So that is regarding the uh, tolerance of microbes which we are using uh, here in the agriculture. Like you have mentioned about uh, their uses in lay at the temperature of minus eighteen degree. Yeah. So uh, can you please tell us what is the what is the range in which those microorganism they uh, provide their full activity, hundred percent activity. Mm -hmm. When you say hundred percent activity, that is at the optimal period. Yes, 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 right, right. But when we make a consortia, right? Mm -hmm. As a consequence of consortia, what I told you in this approach, I did a better. There was thickening of the walls of the data and increasing of the size, but there's more accumulation of the data. Even at a suboptimal temperature, the fungal spreads their virus and go over the volume there. So we need to understand that the value of consortia is more than the single organism. So that is why we can accept the optimal very low temperature. And these microorganisms, they can survive in very low temperature because of the coordination that is in the And mm -hmm. with no thickening of the cell wall. And other thing that I told you that microbial signaling, it is at a distance. Even if they are not in physical contact, the seeds are treated with the fungus and kept under low temperature range. That is, the average temperature in the poly and genome is minus 18 to plus 4 degrees centigrade. But the signaling that is provided by the fungus store, the sufficient product needs to you know, respond and dominate early of temperature. So, microbial signaling takes place at a distance. Okay, not only if we, you know, in contact signaling is there, it is there, but at a physical signaling is also. So, these health things will have a new domain. I guess that I am here to you. Thank you so much. Is there any question from the audience? So it was actually very wonderful talk. You very, in a very good manner or in very understandable manner, you explain the fact that microbes, they foster agriculture productivity by aiding and controlling the availability of supplements to plants and by promoting tolerance towards the environment. And uh, yes, uh, plant-associated microbes, they are 
they are expected to increase the plant adaptability and that's how we can reduce the use of fertilizers which nowadays creating lots of trouble to the common people like uh, as far as i know uh, in punjab there is one area where most of the cancer patients they are there and uh, the main cause the root cause behind that is the use of fertilizer in that area so uh, not the root of the, the root cause of fertilizer ियम Thank you so much, sir. And there are so many properties. There are so many ways to talk about all these products one by one to see this by token. And the team data is doing a wonderful job. We have worked on this for last twelve years in this space to get actual popular condition or the condition of the bag. Thank you so much, sir, for your time for today's talk. It was very wonderful talk, and uh, I I know that all the uh, students who is present in this uh, talk they are benefited truly benefited with the, with your talk. So with this, I just wanted to invite our student president, Dr. Somia, to give the vote of thanks. Thank you, Dr. Amit Sankhwar, for an enlightening lecture. Sustainable agriculture is indeed is indeed a need of an hour. It is the masterful balance of meeting our own needs without jeopardizing the future generations' ability to do the same. I would like to thank Professor A. M. Deshmukh, President, Microbiology Society India, and Professor Renu Arora, Patron IIT, and Professor Rajendra Dhaka, Indias, the post. for providing all possible source and support to organize this lecture series i would like to thank professor sunita agarwal state president mbsi dr aarti kumari state coordinator mbsi dr veda krishnan scientist icar and i iari dr kalpana nagpal associate professor mit university for participating in the lecture series I must not forget to thank the volunteer and student team who who contributed to organize this lecture until last days of the week. I would like to thank you all for making this event a success. Thank you. Uh, before conclude the sessions, uh, so uh, Professor Sunita Agrawal, ma'am, wants to say something. Ma'am, please unmute yourself. uh thank you uh thank you sir for uh, sparing your time and giving such an excellent uh, talk to our student and faculty it's really our pleasure that you are here uh sir uh 
uh, I just want to know, uh, will it be possible if uh, some student want to do an internship under uh, your guidance or uh, want to visit your lab, will it be possible? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And, uh... Uh, excuse me, sir. Sorry for the last minute uh, interruption. Uh, we have a question uh, right now posted on the YouTube live stream. Uh, sir, do you wish to answer the same? Uh, so, uh, uh, Miss Nida Khan uh, uh, questions can Peri uh, Peripospora grows on other media apart from Aspergillus? Yes, it does grow. It grows on very thick medium, which you have presented. It can grow distinctly on 4% gathering of good quality. That is not you know, associated with the uh, normal writing event, okay? so without any chemicals. So, if you gathering, 4%, you can easily grow in it. Thank you. Thank yes, you for yes, answering yes. the question. Yes. Yes. You have made a publication of that also. We have our director, ma'am, with us. She just joined us. Uh, ma'am, can you hear us? Hello, sir. How are you, Professor Amit? You know, I am very sorry. I could not join the entire program. I was out somewhere. <laughs> so, you know, our special thanks to you. I am so delighted to know that this sustainability lecture series and you are the first one to start the series. And a very important topic is being taken that is sustainability in agriculture. I wish I was there for the entire lecture, but I would be surely joining the rest of the series. And all of us, we know sustainability is a buzzword these days. And these agriculture practices, you know, uh, to protect the environment and to meet the sustainability needs of the food and textile, it is very important. So my best wishes to the entire department also to take this initiative and special thanks to INIAS and MSI also to collaborate with IHG. So looking forward to meet you also in person, sir, sometimes in future. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Smita and the microbiology department to take this initiative. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. So, may uh, I request everyone to open the camera so that we can have a group photograph? One question is coming right now. Yes, yes. We talk about what is doing producing bacteria. Is that specific? Uh, no, it's not green producing. Uh, Actually, uh, you might have not heard. The cultural footprint of SMB9 is, is producing a red color pigmentation. So, what we did, we dyed the green okay, with the cultural footprint, and you know, the color was, the time was successful. Okay? So, this cultural footprint is non toxic in nature, and so that we can move it. For making a natural target, red color natural target. So, since when you're with five items, so are you clear now from that? That is okay. Thank you. Uh, even Dr. Deshmukh also wants to join this lecture, MBSI president, but somehow there's some glitches and he's not able to join. He uh, was the whole lecture through YouTube, sir. Okay. Uh, 